All right, and we're off. So, um, I grind. I had to grind for a couple of levels. Let's see where are we at? No, wrong button. Here we go. Oh, and also, I just got two um, achievements. One for one was like the Bronze Hunter, which was whatever the lowest tier of killing X amount of monsters. I couldn't see the number of though. And um, I got Bloodstained something or other, which was leveling Dark Knight Cecil to level 15. But yeah, I was trying to grind like just for enough money to buy another Phoenix Den or two. This game is very uh, stingy with money drops. Oh. Uh. Okay. And we are off. One downside of this being um, 3D, I guess, is that like, I don't know, the camera is in so close that you can, you can only see a really small amount of the area, so it's really easy to lose your bearing if you're not using a map. So, in other words, get used to seeing maps all the time. At least they make them translucent when you're moving. I'm gonna get one and not the other. Oh, that's right, the controller was being a dick. Listen. Also, I had to. I put Rydia below me. Because it seemed like when she was at the top, and I, I may be seeing, you know, reading into something that's not there, but. It seemed like. The uh, monsters were overwhelmingly targeting her when she was at the top. She kept dying, and it was really irritating. Come on with this. No. For the love of Cherry's Jubilee. gonna get Tella and, ooh a rod <laughs> I'm just gonna get Tella and make him revive her with his spell you knight <clears throat> you wield the dog no it's you know what I'm not gonna worry too much about voices I beg you lend me your aid what's happened my daughter Anna was tricked by a silver-tongued bard. He's taken her to Damsian Castle. I fear I have little time. I sense something sinister. Anna, you said? Then you must be Tella. The very same. 
tell us, Sage. I came in pursuit of my daughter, but I cannot get through the waterway. A great monster lurks in the lake beyond. It will not let me pass. The devil is strong, I warn you. My magic alone is no match for it. But perhaps with your dark sword as well, we might defeat it. And this girl, a summoner, is she not? And one with quite some potential from the looks of it. We need to reach Damsian too. Then the choice is made for us. Let us make haste. Look at those big old baggy pants. And tiny feet. Sage's spells are a boon, but still I worry for Rydia. Let's see where it puts him. Okay, he's in the back, but he's still at the top. You can't have that. For whatever reason. Yo, why is Tyler missing like 100 HP? Um. Okay, still got all... Oh, I, I thought I didn't see this. Still got all the same spells, except it looks like he also has... T I thought he only had six. Um... Of each spell. Okay, he's got no helmet, but he has his armor is like advanced for Yeah, we'll do the same thing we're doing with radio for now. Um Instead of attack, he will use the rod. Use the rod as an item. It uh, it, it acts as mage arrows. There's a big monster waiting for us up ahead. Wait for me, Anna. Damsian is just beyond this passage. Except that it's not. I mean, it is, but it's like several passages. A tent! Wait, I don't care about tent. No! Alright. Well, at least we have an extra body now. Less chance all the hits will go to Rydia. Yo, why is yours that much more powerful? Seriously, I think that was like ten times stronger than Rydia's. He must have much higher intellect. Um. To that. 26 versus 8. So, yeah. Still, that's only about three times higher. Well, okay.
Amoeba. Hey. I haven't figured out how to actually use your item or use your weapon as an item. Diet ration, that's for if we're a piggy. Oh, but I couldn't I don't think oh I don't think we're able to use mage arrows without it being set to auto battle. Or else I just can't figure out how to do it. Another rod. Um, trying to flesh the map out. Why would you let me up here? Whoops. Man, I can't wait until I, like, just have the buttons, like, committed to memory. Brat. Hey, a silver armlet. I know who's not wearing one of those. Goody goody. I feel like I remember something bad happening if we use magic on them. So, naturally, we're gonna use magic on all of them. See what happens. Oh, good. They just die. Another silver armlet. and warp. Goody goody. Wait. Oh my, I can't breathe.
back up we go. Just wanna go over here and make sure. Yeah, so any grinding I'm definitely gonna do off camera, cause I don't know, this just seems like... I don't know, filler. Unnecessary fluff. The series is already gonna be a lot longer as it is. Okay. This way. Man. Yeah. So I forget if Well there it is. I thought it would only do that on the same turn. Like, if you killed something and he countered on the same attack. But apparently, he's just gonna be able to revive anything that's died. Until he dies, so he can't re raise himself. Which is supposed to be what re raise does. What he's doing is effectively just raise. Although, I assume that when the monsters get re raised, they get all their HP about it. Anything up here? No! Critical and all up, all up in this piece. A rod. He he lost strength. That's because he's an old man. The very old man. Um, oh yes, yeah, this is, this is the correct way, 98% map. Yay! Five eye drops. So, it seems like, well, I mean, we fought a lot, so, <laughs> even though we only have 450 gil from doing so, we can sell this stuff that it keeps dropping. Uh, I thought we had whatever. Why? Yay! Bloop. Boop. 
Boon. Really, just have to go by the map. Kind of makes all this like landscape pointless. Surprised. Let's get the ammo Yiba out of the way first. I would just use, uh... Wait, does he have Libra? No, of course not. Because I should start libra stuff. Blam. Maiden's kiss. As for if you're turned into a frog. Bloop. Meh. No. Also no. Um. That was okay. As will this be. Thunder. I'll show you how it's done. Bitch. Another rod. Another level. And toad. Good job, Rydia. A box. We can rest here. Magic field cast by these circles keep monsters at bay. Remain within and you're safe. You can use tents and cottages. And even save within these circles. We we'll use my tent here. We need to cover our strength for the f before we face the beast. Asleep already. She must have been exhausted. A child, where is she from? She was a summoner from the village of mist. Indeed. And my eyes were not mistaken. She has great potential. With practice and training, she should be able to master many spells. Such a darling little face, too. She reminds me of my Anno when she was young. Your daughter? My one and only. Deceived by some wandering bard and whisked away to Dampsian. All because I refused to give them my blessing. And you, what need drives you to Dampsian? A friend of mine is suffering from desert fevered in Kaipo. I see, and you seek a sand pearl. And haste drives you as well. Even my magic could not avail you against the foe you face. The monster of this lake. What manner of creature is it? A vicious one. With eight massive writhing tentacles. But if we are to save your friend and my Anna, we must find a way to slay it. I pray these premonitions of mine are 
only an old man's fretting. But if they prove true, our my our time is short. Just be on our way. So while it is possible for the game to roll multiple drops, um, you're only allowed to take one thing away from the battle with you, and it it defaults to like I I think the uh, whatever the rarest item happens to be. than the mage arrows. Ah, I feel like there's gonna have to be... Yeah, I didn't think there was anything up there, but... had to be sure. That only worked because Cecil got the got a hit in against the bug thing first. Uh oh. Five antidotes. So how do I get up there? Oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna just let it go. Ain't nobody got time for that. Fish! Oh. I guess I have to reset that since I changed her weapon.
Oh, there. Vaguely remember the layout to most of these rooms. I'm just used to seeing a lot more of it on on one screen. Toad. No. Ha. All right. I think it's ice. Yes, it is. Hey, uh, what are you doing? A little frog lady girl. Can't be being a frog. That's madness. Ah, uh, you know what? She has magic that'll fix it. And no, she does not have Libra. I'm trying to sort them. Can I not? I want to sort. Oh well, I guess... Oh, that, that does not bode well. Does not bode well at all. Foam Fragment. Ice rod. Yeah, that's a little bit better than Mage Arrows. For some reason, I feel like in Tellus Hand, it wouldn't be. I don't know. Got the button on the first try. Where did I miss a spot? Oh, that's annoying. You see here, fish. Uh, so the one, one big change about this version is the augment system and ultimately like like every character has their 
you know, everybody has to fight an item, and then they all have abilities that are usually unique to them, like uh, magic or summon or kick or whatever, and non-permanent party members like uh tell a, like there's on there's only five characters that are with you at the end of the game so all the other characters that are only temporary temporarily a part of your party and don't stay with you poison they leave you with um augments and this is why multiple playthroughs are necessary because like you have to give those non-permanent people um, you have to give the like use augments on them when you get an augment you can only use it on one person and then it's it's spent but that person will have it forever including on the next playthrough so you have to give them augments because when they when they leave your party for good you get one augment like a specific one from them but they they can all give you up to three so you have to give each one of the non-permanent characters an augment or two augments per character to get some of their like best items so what I'm getting at is it's possible to give uh, Cecil like Yang's moves or to give Kane uh, Cecil's darkness ability so on and and there's there's some that you get from months from certain bosses that are just specific to themselves so like you you can give uh, Kane who's not supposed to be able to use magic at all like really powerful black magic abilities we'll call it Um, what am I doing? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I explained the augments well enough. Didn't like stop mid sentence and forget because I have legitimate traumatic brain injury, brain damage, and like. My short-term memory is atrocious, and I, I can very often, or I can and very often do um, uh, I forget to finish sentences mid-sentence, especially if something distracts me. Happens a lot, you know. I'll be sitting here talking about augments or something, and then somebody will get poisoned, and I'll be like, "What the hell? I'm poisoned!" And just like that, I forgot what I was talking about. Also, it's really hard to to convey thoughts in general. Like when I'm trying to get an idea out, it. It takes a lot of effort 
Oh, you gotta sit here and think and pull all the words out. <clears throat> Figure out what it is I'm trying to say and also tend to talk too much and too long, like, and slowly. Like, people get annoyed. And, you know, I get it. Like, I didn't at first, but, you know, when you have uh, memory impairment like that in the first place, it's like, it takes a really long time for you to even become aware of it yourself. Like, I didn't realize that I was forgetting major events, um, entire days that I had been there for. Um, I have to meet people, like, between 3 and 10, 15 times before it'll stick before I'll be able to you know run into them on my own and recognize who they are and remember what their name is uh, whether or not I know them if we're on good standing if we had a fight fucking sucks but one one uh one perk about it is that I can um like basically I I could watch the same movie once a week and it'll always more or less be like the first time I'm watching it. Um, sometimes I do remember like bits here and there, but you know, not substantial. Like I won't remember characters' names. I won't remember what's going to happen, what's supposed to happen, how it ends. Um, and anything that I do remember, it's only familiar enough that usually I think in my head, like, oh, I probably saw a commercial for this. You know, like, because a scene will be familiar. Like a short little bit that managed to... that did manage to stick. I believe the uh, the damage is substantial in my hippocampus part of your brain hippocampus it's like it's responsible for committing short-term memory into long-term memory or just you know storing it permanently however you want to phrase it or however it is phrased I don't know Um, shit, where was I? Also, how the hell do I get out of here? Stupid frogs. Yo, it's hell is a gray frog. It's how old he is. Right, the hippocampus. So, um, maybe, I think it, I think it was like in the 50s or the 1940s or the 60s maybe, somewhere around there. And also, and for people who had epilepsy, um, the treatment that they had, or a treatment, it was like a pretty severe, in, in, intrusive, invasive, um, 
procedure where they would remove I think half of your hippocampus and that would it, it wouldn't cure your seizures but I think like you'd have less of them it would happen less frequently and they wouldn't be as severe but um, one guy had like really severe at but like he had seizures all the time and they were really bad they were really severe like frequently and damn it and so they said so so look we, we know that you know taking out part of your hippocampus lowers, you know, like, will make it less. So, do you want to try an experiment where we'll take out all of your hippocampus, the whole, you know, both lobes, or... I feel like I, I remember that it was, that, that they take out half, and that, you know, like, half of the, whatever. So, you know, they, they did this uh, experiment on, experimental procedure on him where, and like you can read about this, um, there's a suit, it's not quite a documentary, but like, it's like part of a episode of a TV show that does documentary type stuff. But... He, you know, he, he went through with it, he had his whole hippocampus removed, and, you know, he, he didn't have seizures anymore, he, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think maybe, like, he never had another seizure, but he had zero um, short-term memory retention. So, you know, with the entire part of his brain removed, he had zero short-term memory retention. It was like, um, reverse retrograde amnesia, which is anterograde amnesia, which is what I have. So, like, retrograde amnesia is is the kind in movies and TV where you know somebody has a brain somebody's in a car accident or something and they wake up and they don't remember their name or where they lived or their family like they don't remember anything that that they've always remembered and they have to start like they have to start over and then there's the other kind where you remember everything up to the point of the injury or incident and everything afterwards anything everything new that happens afterwards is hazy at best but for him like you know my hippocampus is damaged but it's still there. So it kind of works sometimes. It's just like shitty. But his was gone. And like, and, and he stayed this way for the rest of his life. Every time the same doctor would come in, the guy would like 
shake his hand and introduce himself. And, you know, the doctor would talk to him, tell him whatever. And the doctor could leave the room, go grab a, something to drink or whatever, come back. And it's the first time he's met this doctor again. And it never retained. And stuff like his, um... They would do, like, exercises where he'd have to write letters to himself. And, you know, he wouldn't have to write anything special. It was just, you know, write down your thoughts that you're having right now. And then, anything that he would write down... After maybe a few minutes or 15 minutes or something like that, or maybe an hour, very short amount of time, um, if the letter was, you know, shown to him again, he'd like, you know, be understandably freaked out because he'd be like, I don't remember writing this. Who wrote this? Why is this? You know, and why is it in my handwriting? I don't understand. Ow. And, like, as he got older, when he would see himself in the mirror because he had aged, it would freak him out because... He only rem he can only remember what he looked like at that age because he was completely unable to obtain any new memories. So like, you know, as he got older, mirrors upset him more and more because every time he looked in the mirror, he'd see that he was you know, 20, 30 years older than he believes that he is. And then, you know, he'll be upset, and then in a couple of minutes, it'll go away. You know, he'll forget it, obviously, and then he'll be alright. And then, so, like, he could look at a mirror every five minutes and have a nervous breakdown every five minutes, and then... I guess have like a two minute nervous breakdown and then three minutes of just perfectly normal. See a mirror of nervous break, like, it was, it's crazy. And, you know, like I said, I, I have mine. Still, it's just not in good condition. I don't know, I just felt like talking about something while I'm just walking through this and nothing's really happening. Tell fun little stories. Dumb broad. Meh, 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 meh. Do, do, do. Uh, just a moment. Untangle. Wait, did I just tangle it up more? Let's go. Yay, we are separated. Ah. 
<sighs> I think I finally get, um... I start getting new equipment for me now. Yeah, starting with the sword. Should be like a boost of 10. Yeah. And a little bit of accuracy. Alright. And then there's like a... A lesser item. Zombies! Hey, zombies aren't supposed to be able to poison. And I'm not supposed to be able to damage zombies. Yeah! Hey, I have like 1800 monies. get an augment for getting 100% of all the maps. I forget what it's called. It's like Wayfarer or something. From here, we must travel outside for a time. For a time? It's like five steps, dog. The monster dwells at the place of the waterfall beyond. It may be wise to pitch another tent outside and rest before we face him. Sounds good. What was I saying? Something about the augments. Oh, yeah. There's, um... Once you get all of... No! To clear 100% of all the maps, you get an augment that lets you... Avoid enemy encounters. Uh, I'm afraid, but we have to help her. Why would such a monster make its den in a cave frequented by men? We'll save and cut since we're at an hour right now. But I'm gonna keep playing. Ugh. See you there.